less than 24 hours after the Israeli strike on an unknown compound near Syria's Aleppo province, details are beginning to emerge. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, or SOHR, reported that the strike had killed five pro-Iranian fighters allied to the Damascus government. Two were Syrian, while three were not. Additionally, SOHR claimed that Israeli F-16 warplanes destroyed a base used by pro-Iranian groups and a nearby weapons depot. This was somehow achieved with only a single missile striking its target, as seven of the eight munitions launched at Syrian soil were intercepted by Panzer S and Buck M2 systems of the Syrian Arab Air Defense Forces. The chaos caused by the Israeli strike provided ample opportunity for the so-called moderate opposition in nearby Greater Idlib to motivate its ranks and even organize an attack on the Syrian Arab Army, or SAA. On July 18th, the Al Futeh El Mubin Operations Room, the largest military formation in the northwestern Syrian region of Greater Idlib, placed its militants on high alert. Two days later, to commemorate Eid, Abu Muhammad El Julani, the leader of HDS, visited foreign jihadist dignitaries. Simultaneously, Turkish Interior Minister Salman Solyu visited the cities of Azaz and Afrin, both occupied by Turkey since 2017, to commemorate the holiday. Amr el-Sheikh Abu Uba Ida, leader of the Ara el-Sham movement and al-Qaeda affiliate, visited his soldiers stationed near the front lines in Greater Idlib. Finally, Brigadier General Fadl Allah El Haji, commander of the National Liberation Front, or NLF, visited his troops. NLF is part of the Syrian National Army, or SNA, a Turkish-backed militant faction. It's more than likely that aid commemoration is a pretext for coordinating the actions of all the factions in Greater Idlib, as well as the Turkish armed forces. And sure enough, on July 20th, four terrorists of the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Turkestan Islamic Party, or TIP, carried out a suicidal raid on an SAA post in the town of Mizanaz in the western countryside of Aleppo. Five SAA soldiers were killed in the attack. Recently, militants in Greater Idlib have escalated their attacks on the SAA and shelled a number of government-held towns and villages around the region. Ara el-Sham terrorists used heavy artillery to attack SAA positions in Kuala Shalef in the northern countryside of Latakia. Instead of attempting to preserve the ceasefire and force the militants to adhere to it, Turkey instead shelled the M4 highway north of Raqqa, killing one civilian and injuring three others. A storm is highly likely coming in northern Syria, and all the pawns are taking their places as Ankara prepares to open the floodgates of violence.